Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerben. I am the founder and content creator for IncredibleTutorials.com. I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 9 tutorials. So let's get started. One of the new features in Anime Studio Pro is the ability to create Bezier curves in your motion graph. To demonstrate this, I have a simple object on screen with three keyframes. You can see as I scrub through here, it just plays all the way to the end like that. It's pretty much a straight line. So now if I go into my motion graph, just by clicking on the motion graph tab, we can see what this motion looks like in the graph, which again looks pretty basic. So what I can do here is highlight all the keyframes on the graph, right click on one of the keyframes and choose Bezier. You'll now notice that all of my keyframes have Bezier handles. So for instance, if I come into my middle keyframe here, hold down my left mouse button and move this around, you can see I can alter both handles on this keyframe. And as I do this, the canvas is reflecting these changes. I'm creating a different curve in the motion graph. And this can give you some very unique results. So I could go like this, I could come over here to the end keyframe and alter it like this, come to the beginning, do stuff like that, and so on. And as you can see, I am radically altering the path of this object. Now, if you want to only alter one handle at a time, go to a keyframe that has two handles, hold in your Alt key on your keyboard, and then move the handle. You can see the second handle remains stationary. This, of course, again, can give us some very unique results. And now that I'm done, I can go back here to the start and play this and see how it looks. And that is a little bit about the editable motion graphs in Anime Studio Pro 9. If you have any more questions regarding Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching. I have more Anime Studio 9 tutorials out there, so please check those out, and I'll see you next time.